What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Kid Face right here, showcasing the Bobble Graph Museum. As you can see, this is uh, my Bobble Graph collection that I've been uh, working on throughout the years. Up to date, I have about a little over uh, 600. Uh, I stopped just because this uh, took up a lot of room. Here, I don't even have all of them. I just have uh, some of the more rare ones, more important ones. I still have to buy another shelf and the steps. Some I'm picky like that. Like I need to have everything coordinated and be able to uh, so you can see it. But here's some. I uh, just wanted to show uh, all of you guys. And that's correct. Every single one in here is uh, is signed, you know, from some regular ones to some rare ones to, uh, you know, some stuff that you just don't come across too often. Uh, I got Kershaw, probably one of the hardest guys to get on a bubble graph, just because he always runs with the sh black Sharpie. Uh, Beltre. Uh, I believe my very first bobble graph was, uh, I want to say Don Newcomb, Steve Garvey, something like that. This is one of my favorite sets right here. The Don Newcomb, the Gagne's. Even that set. I collect mostly Dodgers, but, um, whoever I can get, whoever has a bobble, bobble hit, I like to get a sign. Uh, I've got a lot of a few guys in here now that are no longer with us, like Lou Brock. Um, I have the Tommy Lasorda right there, the statue in the mini. Don Newcomb is no longer with us. Um, there's one of the rare ones, is the Black Suit Tommy, one of my personal favorites. I have a lot of them, but it's just. There's just too many to collect. One of the reasons I kind of stopped doing them too is just the Dodgers just uh, give too many uh, bobbleheads now, and even the other teams. And uh, now you have all the minor league ones that come out, and it's just it's too costly, and it's just hard to keep up. So, but I still tend to get some here and there, but. Uh, yeah, check them out. This is uh, some of mine. Most of these I got in person as well. Some I acquired through trade or private signings. So, the Aladuca, the Gagne right there, that one's, those are kind of hard to come by. That are a Harshizer. The Mori Wills. That Mike Sosha you don't see too often. And I do all sports, celebrities, from wrestling to actors to baseball, so any type of sport. Fernando. But yeah, all of these bad boys are uh, signed. Most of them are signed in uh, paint pen. Just because paint pen lasts forever. Sharpie tends to uh, fade after a while, depending on the color that it's set on. But yeah, if I can, I use the paint pen. Tommy. Here's a few. As you can see, that Cecil Fielder was done in uh, regular Sharpie. It's actually lasted. 
These were some of the earlier ones that I got signed when I first started doing the bobble graphs. Bob Gibson no longer with us. Got a couple cool ones, rare ones. Here's the Raleigh Fingers. I love these bobbles, they just come out dope. Michael Cooper, they did a good job on this one. He looks just like him. But yeah, thank you guys for checking out my Bobble Graph Museum. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. A lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money invested in this kid face. Check it out.